I hope that explains the T2, the PCM, uh, the you know remote tuning and data logging uh, eff effectively for anybody. Uh, if you guys have any questions, drop it in the comment. And yeah, I just want to let you guys know if you made it this far into the video um, that this is. Get Spilled your coffee. Yeah. Bye, Daddy. This is probably not going too well. Okay, so what are you gonna do, vinyl? Yes, we're going to wrap. And then what else? So just blacken it out? Yeah. Are you gonna lower it? Are you gonna do anything with the exhaust? Yes, I wanna eventually put an exhaust on it. Nice. tuning, data logging, everything that you need to know about that area in this video. here. Yeah, many of you uh, have seen the video of me doing an install and basically if you have a 2015 and up this is locked okay and what that means is if you try and write files onto it it's not gonna take so if you have a 2014 and prior you'll be able to write files uh, from your Diablo to that PCM. You don't even have to upgrade it, nothing. If you have a 2015 and up, you have two options. Either you unlock the stock one or you get another one that's unlocked, install it, and then you'll have the ability to write the files from your handheld, whether that's a, whatever handheld you choose to buy. You'll be able to write files that will um it's basically the brain brain of the car it's going to tell each of you know how the engine is going to drive you know the rpms idles all the shift points everything uh so think of the pcm as the brain and out of factory it's locked now in order for you to um in order for you to get your tune more aggressive you need a handheld you need some kind of a device like this to get your tune so let me just pull this up so you need to have the ability for your handheld to write files onto your PCM and um, the Diablo and most other handhelds come with a out of the box tune that is going to be more aggressive than your stock tune. It's gonna be more geared towards performance. It's still a conservative tune uh, just because they don't want to screw up your car and everything. So uh, you, you're not gonna maximize your performance but you're certainly going to gain performance with an out of the box tune. Now. If you want to start getting into custom tuning and you don't want to go the dyno route, you can get a remote tune. And so what happens is you take the, um, you get in touch with a tuner like J Green, Hemi Fever, there's a few others, uh, Tim Barth, uh, I forget a couple others, and they will send you files and you go into the custom tuning and that will, um, You'll, you'll see that 
if you press this button, I'm not gonna do it. It'll have the custom tunes that were mailed to me. And so they'll mail you a tune and you basically just have the T2 loaded up to your PC and you just drag it on like it's a USB, okay? So that is how it all plays out. And then once you, you select that uh, and hit the install, the files start loading up from this to your PCM. And so, you know, this is just basically a middleman. It is something that is going to host the files and then eventually write them to your car. So uh, I hope that explains the PCM correctly and what the device uh, that you're that this is. Uh, now this is a little bit more on the fancy side. It, it, it has gauges, etc. cetera. Uh, in case anybody's looking at my hand, that is a phony tattoo that I just had a birthday party for the little man and uh, they put a tattoo on me. So, you know, just to answer that question. But this has custom gauges and everything. Now, when you get an emailed tune, what there, what an emailed tune is going to be uh, more aggressive than anything that you're gonna receive on this. It's one step above it, but you're not gonna fully get, you're not gonna maximize your performance with just a regular, um, tune that that is given to you you have to data log okay and this is something that i still have yet to do and it's something that i am in the process of doing okay and so how you data log is you touch the um the screen here up top and there should be a data log right here you hit that record button and now with that light everything that you're doing with your car is getting monitored and what you do is after you're done you do uh, regular driving aggressive driving highway driving and everything this is going to allow the tuner to see how all the parts under the hood are operating with the current tune and then they can adjust the timing and um, other areas, the shift points, etc., to optimize the performance of what you have under the hood. Uh, so once you're done with that, then you hit the stop, and it should um, ask if you want to save this. I'm going to say no because we didn't do anything. So after I'm done data logging, I plug this into my PC, email the files to the tuner that will later adjust it, and then send me new files for me to load up to this, then I will write it to the PCM again, and I should have a better tune. And that is exactly what I'm in the process of doing. I am going to be data logging. I am data logging today. Um, and so I kind of hope that this this informs anybody on how that process is, is goes about. And um, you know, some of the best performing vehicles out there are with a um, remote tuner, you know? So, uh, you know, there's a, a lot of people that, that uh, you know, advocate for the dyno tune, and I certainly don't wanna say that that's not the appropriate way to go because I s still have not had a dyno tune, but I can honestly say that these remote tunes are really good, and uh, I think with some data logging and a little bit of adjusting, it's going to maximize the performance of the RT. So um, I hope that explains the T2, the PCM, uh, the you know remote tuning and data logging uh, eff effectively for anybody. Uh, if you guys have any questions, drop it in the comment. And yeah, I just wanna let you guys know if you made it this far into the video um, that this is getting replaced. The intake manifold has been ordered. Um, I just purchased a 392 intake manifold um, off of a 392 owner and uh, I'm pumped. I, I don't know when I'm going to do the install, but I'm gonna take you guys through that journey. I'm gonna tell you you know, exactly what you guys need to upgrade uh, the intake manifold. It's gonna have um, long and short runners, so that's gonna help, you know, it's gonna help performance, I'm telling you. If uh, Once I get the intake manifold on, I believe I can use this stock air box. I'm not 100% sure, but we're gonna see how it plays out. But um, I think I'm gonna be able to use the same throttle body, but I might go with a fast man um, at some point. But this whole intake setup is getting upgraded. 
uh, at some point. I would like to race a couple of people with this setup just to see how it goes. Um, I think after I do my data logging, tune adjusting, I'm gonna set up some races against uh, 392s, see how the charger does, how it handles the adjustments, and then once I have a gauge of you know how far behind I am or um, where I'm at with it, then I'll upgrade the intake and then line up more races, you know? So um, yeah, it's coming along nicely and I'm pumped for the next set of, of modifications. And yeah, guys, there's a meet coming up this weekend. I hope to see many of you out there.